Hello grade 9 students, we're going to learn the application of similar triangles, theorems, and proof of Pythagorean theorem and solving related problems or this is the lesson for week 8 and actually this is the last topic for quarter 3. So let's get ready to answer our learning task. We will be doing the first learning task and we're going to solve the following problem. And for the first one, we have this triangle BRY is similar to triangle IPT with IP is equal to 4, PT is equal to 3, and YR is equal to 18. What is the measurement of segment BR? So let's write down the given. The IP that is equivalent to 4, PT is 3, and YR is 18. And ang hinahanap natin is yung segment BR. So we will just say that the segment BR is our X kasi ito yung unknown or hinahanap natin. Okay. I-apply natin yung natutunan natin about similar triangles. Kunin natin yung ratio ng mga corresponding sides na ating triangle. We can say that segment IP over segment BR is equal to segment TP over YR. Then, let's substitute the values dito sa ating equation. So, ang IP natin is 4, ang BR natin is X, so 4 over X is equal to segment TP, which is 3, and then yung ating YR is 18. Then, to get the value of X, just cross-multiply. 4 times 18, then X times 3. We can now have 72 is equal to 3X. So, 8 Sa times lang natin yung 4 and 18, 72 yon. Then, x times 3 is 3x. To get the value of x, we just simply divide both sides to 3 para makancel yung 3 na nasa tabi nitong x at matira lang yung x. 72 divided by 3, the x is 24. Then, makakancel na to. So, ang x natin is equal to 24. Now, let's do the checking. I-substitute lang natin yung 24 dito sa ating x. So, 4 over 24 is equal to 3 over 18. Cross multiply, 4 times 18 is 72 and 24 times 3 is 72. So, meaning, our answer is correct. So, ang BR or segment BR is equal to 24. How about same triangle pa rin, pero ito na yung mga given natin. We have the segment BY as 10x plus 5. Yung BR is 10x plus 2. And yung IP is 4x minus 3. And IP is 3x plus 3. What is the value of x? So dito, ang um, napapansin ninyo, yung mga given measurement ng ating triangle ay may mga x. At ang hahanapin natin, hindi yung measurement nila, kundi yung kanilang x. So isulat lang natin yung mga given. So yung BY or yung segment na to, is 10x plus 5. Then, yung BR is 10x plus 2. Yung IT is 4x minus 3. And yung IP, or yung side na to, is 3x plus 3. So, paano natin makukuha ang x? So, i-apply ulit natin yung tungkol sa similar triangles or pagkuha natin sa ratio ng mga corresponding sides nila. So, we can say BY. So, itong segment BY over IT is equal to segment BR over IP. So, substitute lang natin yung mga values nila dito sa ating equation. Ang BY natin is 10x plus 5. So, kaya may 10x plus 5 over yung IT natin, 4x minus 3. Then, equals to BR. Yung BR natin, ito yun na, yung 10x plus 2. And yung IP natin, we have 3x plus 3. Then, cross-multiply lang tayo. So, ipag-multiply lang natin yan. So, gawin natin, magiging trinomial ang product nito kasi binomial or two terms, tas ita times natin sa another two terms. So, paano natin yung gagawin? So, pwede nyo gamitin yung FOIL method or distributive property. So, po pwede yung 10x at itong 5, i-multiply mo muna sa 3x. Then, sumunod, pag nagawa mo na yun, yung 10x and 5, i-times mo naman sa 3. So, let's do that. 10x times 3x, we have 30x squared. 5 times 3x is 15x. Next, dito naman natin ito times sa 3. 10x times 3 is 30x. 
Then 5 times 3 is 15. Ganun din ang gagawin natin sa other side. 4x times 10x. Then 3, negative 3 times 10x. Pagkatapos, sumunod naman, gamitin mo naman yung 2. 4x times 2 and negative 3 times 2. Kaya meron tayong 40x squared minus 30x plus 8x minus 6. So, ayan siya. Ito muna, 4x times 10x, so 40x squared. Then, negative 3 times 10x is negative 30x. And then, 4x times 8, 2 is 8x. And negative 3 times 2 is negative 6. Then, pwede nating masimplify pa yung mga similar terms. Katulad nito, yung 15x and 30x, pwede mo pa siyang i-add or pagsamahin. Kasi pareho silang x. So, like terms, so 15 plus 30 is 45, then just copy x. So that's why we have 30x squared. So ito yon. Then 45x dahil dito pinag-combine na. Then 15. Dito naman, ang pwede nating i-combine is yung negative 30x plus 8x. So i-simplify lang natin. Negative 30 plus 8 is negative 22x. So then kinopy yung 40x squared and yung negative 6. Then simplify. Ang ginawa na lang natin dito, in-equate natin siya sa 0. Minove natin itong 30x squared, 45x, and 15 to the other side. Kaya nagbago yung mga sign niya. So, tignan ninyo, yung 40x ganun pa rin, tsaka yung 22x and then yung negative 6. Pero dinagdagan lang natin itong mga to. So, yung 40x squared, so ito yan, minus, ito yung 30x squared, nagbago yung sign kasi nilipat natin dito. Then, yung sumunod negative 22x, Okay, ang katabi na niya is negative 45x. So, ito nagbago yung sign. And then, itong negative 6. Then, ito nagbago yung sign niya, which is negative 15. Then, equal to 0. Then, pwedeng isimplify yung mga pwedeng isimplify. Itong 40 minus 30 is 10. Then, copy x squared. Negative 22 minus 45. Negative 67. Then, copy x. Then, negative 6 minus 15 is 21, or negative 21, then equal to 0. So, makikita ninyo, naging quadratic equation na siya. Kaya, paano mo ngayon kuha ang x? E, quadratic na siya. So, apply natin yung natutunan natin ng first quarter about quadratic equations. So, pwedeng gamitin na lang natin dito is using quadratic formula. So, medyo mahaba-haba ulit na computation to. Okay, so, ito yung nakuha natin kanina. 10x squared minus 67 minus 21. So, apply natin yung quadratic formula natin, which is negative b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. Identify natin yung a, b, and c. Yung a natin is 10, yung b natin is negative 67, and yung c natin is negative 21. So, palitan lang natin lahat ng letters dito sa formula natin ng mga values niya. So, negative times negative 67 dahil sa b plus minus square root of negative 67 squared minus 4 times 10 times negative 21 over 2 times 10. So, unahin lang muna natin yung nasa loob ng uh, radical sign. So, 67 or negative 67 squared, we have 4,489. Then, ito yung pag times mo lang, negative 4 times 10 times negative 21 is positive 840 over 20. And then dito 67 natin, naging positive na siya kasi negative times negative is positive. Then i-add na natin yung nasa loob na radical sign. We have 5,329. Get the square root of 5,329. Uh, Ang square root niya is 73. And then we have 67 plus minus 73 over 20. Paghiwalayin lang natin yan, bali... Ito plus, tapos ito minus. 67 plus 73 is 140 over 20. Ang x natin is 7. So, 140 divided by 20 is 7. Dito naman, 67 minus 73, we have negative 6 over 20. So, fraction na magiging sagot natin dito. Ni lowest term na lang natin yung negative 6 over 20. Kaya naging negative 3 over 10. So, ano sa palagay nyo ang kukunin natin value ng ating x? So, since this is all about measurement, ang sukat na dapat nating makuha is positive. So, ano sa palagay niyo ang kukunin natin? Ang kukunin natin dito is yung positive 7. Okay? So, positive 7 ang magiging 
value ng ating x. So, th therefore, that is our answer for question number 2. So, i-disregard na lang muna natin yung negative 3 over 10. Okay? If you want to do the checking, sige, try nyo. Palitan nyo lang yung x ng 7 and tignan natin kung magiging equal sila pag nag-cross multiply kayo. Okay? Now, let's go to number 3. So, for R, this is our triangle. Ang sukat nitong ating triangle is 15 sa side na to and 10 sa side na to. Dito naman sa side na to, we have 15 minus R and here we have R. So, para natin masusolve ang X. So, gamitin lang ulit natin yung mga ratio ng corresponding sides ng ating triangle. We can say that 15 over 10 is equal to 15 minus R over R. Okay? Then, cross multiply, we have 15R, kasi 15 times R, then 10 times the quantity of 15 and minus R. So, multiply lang natin yung 10 sa 15, then yung 10 sa negative R. That's why we have 150 minus 10R. Then, move natin yung negative 10R to the other side, magiging positive 10R. Then, simplify, 15R plus 10R is equal to 25R. And to get the value of R, just divide both sides to 25 para makancel na ito at maiwan ang R. 150 divided by 25 is 6. Therefore, our R is equivalent to 6. Yan. Next, punta na tayo sa number uh, 4. Solve for the value of X. So, we have this triangle and ang kailangan natin makuha is yung X. So, since ang kabuuan nito ay 15, tapos ito ay 6, syempre, gawin mo na lang, 15 minus 6 is 9. So, ang sukat nitong side na to is 9. Then, kunin natin itong sukat ng x. Ito yung x natin dito. So, kunin ulit natin yung mga corresponding sides ng triangle. We have 20 over x. So, yung 20 over mo dito sa x, dahil ito yung corresponding ano niya, side. Then, sa kabila naman, yung 15, yung isang haba nito, 15. Then, itong maliit na sukat, which is 9, 15 over 9. Then, cross multiply ulit. 20 times 9, then 15 times x. So, we have 180 is equal to 15x. Then, to get the value of x, divide lang natin. Pareho sa 15. 180 divided by 15. The answer is 12. So, makakancel na to, May iwan na lang yung x. And then, we have now the measurement of x as 12. So, i-check nyo na lang. Cross multiply nyo. Palitan nyo yung x ng 12. Then, pagka-equal sila, yung cross product nila, the answer is correct. Okay? And then, let's have the last one. So, given triangle ADL is similar to triangle APM with AD is equal to 12, DK is 20, and AL is 15, what is the measure of segment LM? So, let's look at our triangle. So, yung AD daw is 12. So, yung sukat niya dito is 12. Tapos, yung DK is 20. So, ito yan, yung DK 20. And then, yung AL is 15. Tapos, yung ating hinahanap is yung LM. So, ito yung hinahanap natin. So, isulat na lang natin as X. So, para makuha mo yan, di over-over mo lang ulit yung mga corresponding sides niya. We can say that AD over AK, so yung isang buo na to, is equal to AL over AM. So, substitute lang natin yung mga value nila. So, ang AD natin is 12, then over 20 plus 12. So, bakit naging 20 plus 12? Kasi ito ay AK. So, AK, yung kabuang sukat nito, so, kung ito ay 12, yung AD, then yung DK is 20, so i-add mo siya para makuha mo yung AK. So, 20 plus 12 is equal to 15 over, so sa side naman na to, yung AM, i-add mo lang yung 15 and X. Then, cross multiply. So, 20 plus 12 is 32, then cross multiply mo na yan. So, 12 times the quantity of X plus 15 is equal to 15 times 32. So, 12 times x is 12x. 12 times 15 is 180. Then, is equal to 15 times 32 is 480. Move 180 to the other side. Magiging minus na siya or negative. So, we have 12x is equal to 300. Divide both sides to 12 to get the value of x. Therefore, x is equal to 25. Dahil sa 300, divide by 12. 
So, ang LM natin, or yung measurement itong segment LM, o yung X natin dito, is 25. Okay. And that's it. Nakita niya na. Nasolve natin yung mga measurement ng mga unknown sides ng ating triangle by applying the ratios of corresponding sides at yung mga natutunan natin about similar triangles. So, madali lang. Basta maging matyaga lang sa pagsagot ng mga learning tasks. And huwag mong kalimutan na i-click yung subscribe button. Kung hindi ka pa nakasubscribe, i-like mo na rin at i-share to sa mga kaklase mo para sila rin naman ay matuto at masagatan nila ang mga learning task nila sa mathematics. Follow me also on my Facebook page, VTH Channel. Okay, you can send your message around various there. Okay, see you again next time and goodbye!